I'm Al Maglio. I'm a senior principal scientist at BASF's Catalyst and Adsorbents Research Center. Our patent covers a selective inorganic media that is used for the treatment of strontium and cesium from radioactive wastes. And we cover the use of our media for those applications. The Fukushima incident in 2011 put the nuclear industry in the spotlight. It became everyday conversation. All the challenges that faced that particular site, but as well the challenges that faced nuclear sites in general. Seeing water, contaminated water, in these facilities shined a light on us and said, hey, these are chemical problems, not nuclear problems. We did the research to take that platform and develop a new product that would remove selectively strontium from other ions in water. What a user would do is put this in a vessel and pump the water through this media. So in comes water that's contaminated with strontium and out comes water that has no strontium in it. Then what we would do, or at least our customers would do, is they take this media and fuse it, a process called vitrification. And when you vitrify media, you actually convert it to a glass. So this is an example of what a glass-like material would be, a solid, completely impervious glass structure. This would then be buried, let's say in Yucca Mountain, for example, um, where it would be stored for the life of those radionuclides. Well, the first thing I thought when uh, we were uh, submitted for the Edison Award was uh, how much Edison meant to me as a young child. Uh, I live in Detroit and uh, anybody who's in Detroit, I've been here my whole life, anybody who lives here knows that Greenfield Village has its, one of its most prominent features is the uh, Menlo Park Laboratory that Thomas Edison worked at and did a lot of his inventions, including the light bulb. It really inspired me to want to go into physical sciences, particularly in chemistry. So the award's certainly quite an honor. I work in a facility that's only a a mile away from the Menlo Park Labs that, that Edison worked in. So he's um, you know, certainly on our minds often and a terrific inventor, right? a great entrepreneur. And uh, so it's quite an honor to, to get an award, at least named on his behalf.